All right, in this video, I'll show you uh, how to configure um, the panel cam on the SCD scanner. So I'm already connected to my scanner over here, right? Uh, I'll open up my favorite browser, type in my address, which happens to be already up. But I'm um, talking to the scanner already. The prerequisite for this, as I'm led to believe, is if you go into your general settings, and you go into your scanner details, it's firmware 6, 8, and up. 6, 7 might already have it, but I think I'm wrong. It's really 6, 8, and on. Uh, as of, what is it, August 23rd, 2021. So anything with an older uh, firmware, you might not have the options that I'm about to show you. So 6, 8, 0 is the firmware that allows you to use the panel cam already. Um, what you do to utilize it, you go into parameters. And again, historically, you would choose your profile over here. And you look at your scan duration with the images defaults obviously you can change these but default says okay we'll take four minutes and eight seconds with a traditional camera but if you go into the color settings now there's going to be a new option that was never there before which is a panorama camera so this is the tata z1 camera that you can say instead of using the internal which says four minutes and eight seconds use the pano cam uh, option which reduces it significantly to one hour and 45 or one minute and 45 seconds with one image or two images or four images and again this will just make maybe the pictures nicer if you're standing in one spot and then you move to a new location it has a tendency to wash you out nicer in, with four pictures versus two versus just one so uh, it also it helps a little bit with the uh, parallax if you do two pictures rather than just one uh, and four doesn't really impact much it's just quality it'll look a little nicer because whenever you're in an environment there's a lot of dynamic uh, features people walking by cars driving by this might be a better option but again uh, you know you're you're playing with uh, time uh, one minute 45 seconds versus two minutes and 30. so typically i do a two picture setup and then, of course, everybody always asks about, hey, how do you calibrate or do I need to calibrate the camera every time? I'm led to believe, and um, according to the manual, it's really just uh, you do it once per setup. So I have one uh, Tata Z1 camera with one scanner. You do this calibrate um, scan once, and then from then on, you never have to do it unless you get a new camera and a new scanner, and they, you marry those together. Uh, what the Calibrate Panorama camera uh, button does is initiates a regular uh, scan that regular scan also takes pictures and it also marries these so it's going to look at the internal camera compare it to the panel cam and align the pictures that way and from that moment on it will just retain those offsets and the uh, uh, digital shift in the actual imagery to work so uh, once you're working now if I go into uh, start my scan I am in my default project. I don't care. I'll just hit the start button over here and you'll see that the countdown is uh, not, you know, four minutes and eight seconds, but it's really the two minute countdown over here. And uh, the camera is not taking a picture um, while scanning, but it actually scans, finishes. And once it's finished, then um, it takes the two pictures on opposite uh, spectrums meaning uh, it takes a picture and angle zero maybe and then takes another picture at angle 180 as it rotates the actual scanner uh, next what i'll show you is what it actually looks like on the sd card all right so the scanning is pretty much done but the scanner is now turning 180 degrees to um, go where it started but one of the pictures was already taken. The Tata Z1 actually gives you a little bit of an indication that it took a picture with a faint, what, beep, just that comes from the uh, camera itself. It is not going to give you the option to retake the pictures if you had that on. It is not going to show you the previews of it, but the pictures are now saved on the card. Um, there's no need to download the camera separately uh, with the SD card. So the SD card actually retains the pictures that are from the camera immediately. So there's my preview. 
so I'll hit scan if you're doing another scan but for the sake of the video I'll just show you uh, what the actual uh, results are so I'm closing out um, the scanner over here remotely just shutting it down and then starting a, a new uh, session here